My parka duck was still headed for the lair to hunt for the lost crown of Genghis Khan. Shall I forward your ball, sir? Gee, can I conquer Scrooge? I wanna see the pretty Himalayan marmots. Oh, not this time, Whippy Dillon. I need looking after the boys. Otherwise, who knows what kind of trouble they get into. Oh, that's very smart. Arca Scrooge! Indulge me, lads. The last thing this expedition needs is a wheel lass about. Oh, I'm gonna have enough trouble looking after the launch pad. Launch pad. I told you to land in the center of the mountain range, not in the center of a mountain. Hey, Mr. McTee, but I thought that crap was rock solid. The only rocks around here are the ones inside your head. Ugh, we're nowhere near Shadow Pass. A lost crown. Now fix this wreck so we can get airborne. And step on it, lad. I'll pay you by the hour, and I'll may have you billing me for overtime. No problem, boss. As long as I have this new regulator, we're as good as... Whoopsie daisy! Oops! <laughs> uh, my mom always said I was a Butterfingers! <laughs> oh no! Please tell me you got another one of those! Sure I do! <laughs> but it's back Duckburg! Launch pad! Don't worry Mr. McD, I'll climb down and get it! You'll do no such thing! I'll get it! You stay here and try not cause any more damage! Okay! You're the boss! Now, don't touch that. I need it to fix my plane. Stop! Oh, it's too late. Those bunny bandits have torn it apart. I've got to find those pieces fast. <laughs> Perseverance pays off again. <laughs> Glory! <laughs> now to find the other two pieces. <laughs> or money for me money bin.
it's the second piece of the fuel regulator. One more piece to find and we can get out of this overgrown icebox. It's not a duck! Looks like that little brain got caught in a deep freeze. Whoa, what happened? Scooge! Ooga ooga! Scooge save Baba! There, there, little fella. Uncle Scrooge is here to help. Scooge save Baba! Scooge save Baba! Scooge save Baba! Baba help Scooge! Baba help Scooge forever! You know, I could use a bit of help smashing away the giant ice box. What do you say, Bubba? Ooga, ooga. In that case, follow me, lad! Yippee! I did need to be number one by back and doom. At the end of the lot, Baba. It's time for you to head to the surface. Baba home with Scrooge? Aye. Launch pad is waiting to take you home to Duckburg. On your way now. the ducks the last one now to get this fuel regulator back to launch pad ah, just like the old days by being foolish. I think you get to be number one by back and doom. Here you go, Launchpad. Good as new. Now get this bucket of bolts back in the sky. Just a tick, Mr. McD. Uh, this... Uh, do it! Now there's your problem. Webbergale! What in the world are you doing here? I wanted to see the pretty crown of the Scrooge. Oh, great. Now I've got to beset you and Lunchpot. I can help the Scrooge. You're not like the boys, are you? You think I'm just a worthless tag-along? Do you? 
We're ready for it off, Mr. McD. Ah, not a moment too soon. Stop in tight, Webby dear. Off we go. Nothing but blue skies ahead. Here is a bell. Not cloud in sight. Launch pad. Knock off that infernal chatter. Gee whiz. I was only trying to lighten the mood. If anything, we need to lighten the plane. Feels like she's lost maneuverability with all the, uh, unexpected cargo we seem to have picked up. No worries, Mr. McD. I've got the coordinates for Shad Pass locked in. We'll be there, Lickety Split. More like Lickety Splat. Glongold. Nice to see you, Monduck. Especially since you've led by the treasure. To whom do my thanks? Idiotic pilot. Or did you play it safe and let those two wee ones fly the plane? You dusty chi- Only you could sink so low. And at 15,000 feet, no less. Come in all you like. The lost crown of Genghis Khan will look right at home on my feathered noggin. Wouldn't you say, Scroogey? <laughs> That's what you think. You'll never beat us to show pass. So, the crown is in show pass, eh? Thanks to me. <laughs> <laughs> Launch pad! Come on, boy! One old duck with a cane shouldn't be any trouble to take down! Ouch! Here comes a ten megaton finders fee, McDuck! Knock it off, McDuck! Profit on this, McDuck! Hurry, you fool! He's cut up! You haven't seen the last of me, McDuck! Take that, you big old meanie! We sure showed him that cheaters never cheat and winners never win, didn't we? Try it the other way around and I couldn't agree more, Webby. Pickle me, big feathers, it is shadow pass directly ahead. Guess down launch pad, so steady this time. No problem, Mr. McD. We're close to that treasure now. I can all smell it. Wasn't he? <laughs> then what was it? That definitely wasn't me. Whatever it is, it won't last long if it tries to get between me and the lost crown. Uncle Scrooge, no! Do not worry, lassie. Whatever is in that cave is no match for your Uncle Scrooge. I earned my fortune by being smart in the smarties, and for the toughest, if anything's in there, it better step aside. But I'm scared! Stay with Launchpad. He'll take good care of you.
Abby! Be nice, Uncle Scrooge. That poor fuzzy lady didn't mean any harm, did you, ma'am? Whoa, whoa! Ma'am! Don't be that lass! This one's tried to pull me! Why, I nearly asked my last check! Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I know, ma'am. But Uncle Scrooge is really nice once you get to know him. <laughs> Webby, you aren't that this creature? Of course, Uncle Scrooge. It's all a Junior Woodchuck guidebook. <laughs> What's she saying now? She says she's sorry she hurt you. She's just upset because she stepped on a thorn and can't get it out. A thorn? <gasps> you don't suppose... Here's your thorn, Webigail! <laughs> the lost town of Giscan! The pretty crown! <laughs> you found it! Hey, the poor creature was standing on it! Webby, I cannot thank you enough. Oh, you can find it and you have to forgive me. With your help, we'd never have found the treasure. Oh, uh, and thanks to you too, ma'am? <laughs> I she likes you, Uncle Scrooge. Hell, that's odd. Usually it's me ladies go gaga for. Hey, well, let's get home before she grows any fonder of me. Colonel Ingus Khan is mindless. <laughs> All it took was a bit of tenacity and perseverance. And a little kindness and patience. Right, Uncle Scrooge? Right you are, Webby Dunn. Now, where's the runoff to? Yeah, where is it? He was here a minute ago. Why off the ranch at Baba? You were to have a tea party, Webby's toys. No? Bubba's match! Oh, Webby, sounds like Bubba's not getting along so good with your quacky pack dolls. <gasps> you go away from my dolls, mister! Ah, uh, remember, kindness and patience, Webby. Set a good example for the lad. Well then, what treasure shall we look for next? <laughs>